Hello everyone and welcome again to another Ableton Live tutorial. My name is Michael and I go by the name Radio Moon. Today we're going to be talking about an extremely useful feature inside of Ableton Live that's going to help you organize all of your files and that is with color tagging. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So, color tagging is a nice feature inside of Ableton that allows you to kind of quickly group and organize different files or even like presets or synths or whatever you want and allows you like quick and easy access to them without having to like dig through all the files and folders that you might have from all the packs that you've downloaded and whatnot. I highly recommend this especially if you're working with other people and you're like in a session you kind of want your ideas to just be right at your fingertips and you don't want to have to be like digging through all these things and it just kind of can kill the vibe and you definitely don't want that so I think it's definitely worth the time to kind of go through like all of your files or all your presets and things that you have and just kind of organize them and Ableton has a nice feature that allows you to do that um, in a kind of a pretty simple and straightforward way and that is if you look at the top left of your browser panel, we have uh, under this section called collections, you see there's all these different colors. And normally they'll just be named like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or whatever. And you can change the names just by right clicking them and hitting rename to kind of create your own categories. But what they allow you to do is just kind of put like a color marker on any sort of file or synth or preset, and then they will automatically organize them so that you can just go up here and then recall them whenever you want and when you're working on sessions and it makes things a lot faster in your workflow. So how they work is you can like say you're in your user library and you are just going through like your drum kits and say I liked one of these effects say like this and I wanted to make it a favorite so I already put red as like my favorites folder and so when you're going through files like like this real quick on your keyboard or you should look inside the inside the drop down menu you'll see all the colors here are listed and they have a number attached to them so when you're going through files say I wanted to hit favorite all I have to do is hit one and the red tag will be attached to that file. The cool thing too is that you can um, add multiple tags to just any file. So I could, you know, put an orange tag or a yellow tag just by hitting the numbers on your keyboard. So these correspond to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for me, I have like a favorites folder and then I have like some. Um, instrument racks or um, things like that that I've made. Uh, yellow is just kind of a marker for like drum loops. Green is just like sort of all these like more fresh ideas that I feel like are, are going to be useful for certain type of tracks. Blue is like some calmer um, piano patches and whatnot. Purple is like all of my like top use synths. So when I'm just like, oh, I want to use this synth, I want to use this synth, um, I go to purple. And then gray I use for like a trash can actually. So when I'm like going through all my files and I have way too many, <laughs> when I um, go through them, all I do if I was like, you know what, I don't really like that file, I don't really need that anymore, I just hit seven next to it and it kind of creates this trash bin for me that I can just go up and select them all and delete. Instead of like digging through all these files, Ableton is like automatically sorting these all for you. And the cool thing is, you don't have to worry too much about like these getting too big because you can still go inside like your favorites folder and uh, just type in kick and it's gonna pull all your favorite kicks or all your favorite snares or whatever. And so you don't have to make different folders or copy these files into a new favorites folder. You can just tag them and then search them for search for them this way and it makes it a whole lot easier. So that pretty much covers it for tagging. I hope it becomes a useful asset for you when you're kind of building your um, 
you know, a drum kit library or whatever, and just allows you to make decisions much quicker, have all these ideas at your fingertips much faster, and just helps you to, to make music quicker. All right, that covers it for this video. I hope you guys learned something that helps you with your music production workflow and organizing your sample library. If you have any questions about tagging, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in more Ableton tutorials from me, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Take care.